Restaurants make it their business to serve up the best food possible. But how many also provide a history lesson with your meal? Hmm. A Mexican eatery in the 954 offers traditional cuisine while celebrating one of the country's legendary artists. When you sit down for a meal at Casa Frida in Fort Lauderdale, you're really taking a trip south of the border. What we're trying to have here is the authentic flavors of Mexico. Keeping it real means changing things up on a regular basis. That's the only way diners can really experience the different tastes of Mexico. In the Rio Mexican cuisine, there's a lot of diversity. So what we do here, we change menus constantly so people get to try different dishes. The offerings are extensive. The dishes represent regions from all over the country. However, there are some things you won't find here. Chimichangas, burritos, and, and fried ice cream, stuff that we don't even have in Mexico. Ah, but what is available is heaven on a plate. Roasted poblano peppers stuffed with ground sirloin, topped with a white tequila wine sauce and pomegranates. Chicken enchiladas with homemade red mole sauce, free fried black beans and rice, marinated grilled skirt steak with a cheese enchilada and guacamole. It's all guaranteed to keep the customer satisfied. Once they try, you know, something, they like it. Casa Frida takes its name from legendary Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. Her work adorns the walls. It's like a shrine to a national hero. Right now, Frida's paints are the most expensive paints in the world for the female artists. Her paintings, they run around 13 to 50 million dollars. Kahlo's life was brought to the big screen in the 2002 biopic Frida, starring Selma Hayek. Her presence in the place, along with many traditional artifacts, is no accident. It's all part of a grand plan at this family-run restaurant. The idea is to make the people feel like they're in a Mexican restaurant in Mexico. It's definitely the most authentic uh, Mexican that I've ever had. It's delicious, it's consistent, it's awesome. I am so snobby about Mexican food, and I can't wait to go there and try it. I just, I need, because I'm from New Mexico. What, so what's, and what, what does it have to do to meet your criteria? Well, there has to be a lot of food on the plate. Clearly. <laughs> that part is easy, but it has to have really great homemade flavor for me. For me, it's just unlimited. Uh, Guacamole. Yes, that's it. <laughs> and Thank margaritas, you. yeah. Oh, thank you.